in this question it is given to us that the function f takes r to r defined by this equation is continuous for all x you have to find the correct choice actually this is a very conceptual question before i do this question because while finding continuity two limits will operate hence first i am telling you how the two limits operate with the help of an example suppose the question is limit x tends 0 limit y tends to 0 x minus y upon x plus y i will show that the order of limit is also important that is if we change the order of limit the answer may change as in this case you will find it how this limit operates see x is coming nearer and nearer to 0 and y is also coming nearer and nearer to 0 and we have to find to which number this will approach this two limits operate in this way that x takes a value very near to 0 and stops there that value we put here and after x has stopped now y goes on coming nearer and nearer to 0 x has stopped but y is going on coming nearer and nearer to 0 you can see easily what will happen this will be as x has stopped but y is coming nearer and nearer to 0 the numerator will be tending to x denominator will also be tending to x that is i will get x upon x and answer is 1 but if i say limit y turns 0 limit x turns 0 x minus y upon x plus y here y takes a value very near to 0 and we put that value and y remains fixed and y has fixed now x goes on coming nearer and nearer to 0 in this case as x goes on coming nearer and nearer to 0 numerator will tend to minus y denominator will tend to y answer will be minus 1 that is you can see very easily order of limit is also important in this order answer is 1 and and in this order limit is minus 1 the main thing i want to tell you is how the two limits operate that outside limit takes a value very near to this number and after x has taken the value y goes on coming nearer and nearer to this limit after this has made the value of x fixed this limit is operating first limit this operate and on the result this limit operates when i will do this question you will get it more clear actually he has not told us at which value of x we have to check the continuity we know that limit n tends to infinity x for n will be zero if x lies between minus 1 and 1 because if the value of x lies between minus 1 and 1 as the power increases the value of this goes on decreasing but limit n tends to infinity x bar n will be infinity if x is greater than 1 and limit n tends to infinity x bar n will be 1 if x is equal to 1 note that presently it is not 1 to power infinity in determinate form agreed that while studying the theory of limits you had studied that 1 to the power infinity is in determinate form but in present stage it is not in indeterminate form 
and if x is less than minus 1 in that case limit does not exist and obviously in the case of limit n tends to infinity x bar 2n is 0 if x lies between minus 1 and 1 and limit n tends to infinity x bar 2n is infinity if x is greater than 1 or x is less than minus 1 and limit n tends to infinity x bar 2n plus 1 will be infinity if x is greater than 1 limit n tends to infinity x bar 2n plus 1 is minus infinity if x is less than minus 1 it's not difficult to think and these things i am going to use in this question keeping all these facts in mind it is clear that situation is changing at 1 and minus 1 only otherwise from choices also it is clear that the doubtful points are minus 1 1 and 0 in the choice 0 is there therefore i will be discussing the continuity at 1 minus 1 and 0 only first let us discuss the case when x is get than 1. For all x more than 1, numerator is a continuous function, denominator is also a continuous function because it is a polynomial and sine, cosine and polynomial functions are all continuous functions. To discuss the continuity at 1, first we find limit x tends to 1 plus fx that is limit x tends to 1 plus and fx is limit n tends to infinity cos 2 pi x minus x bar 2n sin x minus 1 upon 1 plus x bar 2n plus 1 minus x bar 2n. As I told you in the very beginning of the question, x tends to 1 plus means x takes a value slightly more than 1 and remains constant and then n goes on increasing and tends to infinity. Because every time x takes a value very near to 1 and now power goes on increasing and increasing. Therefore, this becomes infinity, this becomes infinity, this becomes infinity. And hence, to evaluate it further, x tends to 1 plus limit n tends to infinity 1 by x bar 2n cos 2 pi x minus sine of x minus 1 upon 1 by x bar 2n plus x minus 1 and because when n tends to infinity this becomes infinity, hence this becomes 0, this becomes 0 and after when operation of limit n tends to infinity is done, this whole will become 0, this will become 0 and we will be getting limit x tends to 1 plus minus sine x minus 1 upon x minus 1, the answer will be minus 1. Hence, 
राइट हैंड लिमिट ऑफ एफ एक्स इज माइनस वन एंड नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस द केस ऑफ लिमिट एक्स टेंस वन माइनस लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू वन माइनस एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू वन माइनस लिमिट एन टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी कॉस टू पाई एक्स माइनस एक्स बार टू एन साइन एक्स माइनस वन अपॉन वन प्लस एक्स बार टू एन प्लस वन माइनस एक्स बार टू एन and because x is slightly less than 1 and when x has taken a value slightly less than 1 and power is going on increasing and increasing therefore this will be tending to 0 0 0 and will be getting limit x tends to 1 minus cos 2 pi x upon 1 that is cos 2 by that is 1 hence i can say at x equal to 1 limit does not exist hence the function is discontinuous at 1 in the similar way we can easily prove the discontinuity at minus 1 also but still for more clarity i will discuss the continuity at 0 also लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू जीरो प्लस एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू जीरो प्लस लिमिट एन टेंस टू इन्फिनिटी कॉस टू पाई एक्स माइनस एक्स पर टू एन साइन x minus one upon one plus x bar two n plus one minus x bar two n. When x is very near to zero and slightly more than zero, power is tending to infinity. Therefore, this will be tending to zero. This will be tending to zero. This will be tending to zero. Therefore, after when this limit has done operation. You will be getting limit x tends to zero plus cos two pi x upon one. That is one. Similarly, limit x tends to zero minus f x is equal to limit x tends to zero minus limit n tends to infinity cos 2 pi x minus x bar 2n sin x minus 1 upon 1 plus x bar 2n plus 1 minus x bar 2n when x is slightly less than 0 even in this case also this will be tending to zero this will be tending to zero this will be tending to zero again i will get the similar thing limit x tends to zero minus cos 2 pi x again it will be one and value of function is obviously zero this is zero zero only i will be getting cos zero and cos 0 is 1 hence the value of function is also 1 therefore right hand limit 1 left hand limit 1 value of function 1 hence at 0 it is continuous therefore discontinuity is there only at minus 1 and 1 hence i can say b is the correct choice